The team at Omicron have been using rapid prototyping since the mid-1990s, and it's an awesome tool. Rapid prototyping, particularly the FDM process, allows you to take CAD drawings that are just an idea this afternoon and turn them into a finished part that you can test tomorrow. For testing and research and development, we have been able to develop thousands of prototypes in our development of products very quickly in terms of a prototype. But then the next step is how do we go to production? And realistically, rapid prototyping just can't do the job. The problem with rapid prototyping is that while it is quite strong and flexible, it will snap and break. And you can see along the lines where the FDM lays down its material, you'll be able to get a fracture quite easily. You can see these layers in some parts. And if you want to try and use rapid prototyping to make parts, you have to make the walls quite thick. And even then, they're still flexible. And as you heard that little crack, they'll break along the layers very easily. And that's the problem with trying to take parts from rapid prototyping machines and use them in finished products. This is an example of a prototype. And you can see that because of the way the layers are built, the screen is very fragile. Whereas our injection molded parts, even when they're very thin, are very flexible. And our rods that are injection molded out of the exact same material as this are very, very strong and flexible as opposed to being brittle and breaking along the bond lines. Now, you might say, well, all that's wonderful, but I can't afford an injection mold. Well, to put it in practical terms, if we were to make this little part as an injection mold, we could show you how this kind of mold could be made for probably three to four thousand dollars. And you'd be able to mold these parts on a machine that is about the size of an old sewing machine. And you'd be able to very quickly mold these kind of parts and take your idea into production. You can do bright, beautiful colors. You can do any kind of shape and size. And you can do that on very small equipment with very inexpensive tooling.